What's going on, Jim Bro Fisher? Old Jay Booty sent me on a on a work order of his uh, dishwasher not working. I don't hear anything. I got a motor here. He says it's the motor. Let's see if we can fix it. I'm gonna take the cover off. See what's going on. Old Jay Booty went straight motor. Needs a new motor. See what's going on here. That's a little, little reset button here. Let's see if that does anything. Okay. It sounds like the motor's locked up. All right, if this doesn't work, we'll just replace the motor. I get me a couple of flatheads. These dishwasher motors, this style likes. Some of them don't, but this style has these teeth in here, and if you can just break them loose, it'll work for you. Sorry, I moved the camera there. I don't know if you can see those little teeth in the background moving, but if you can just break them loose, we'll have action here. Sometimes it'll work for you, and sometimes it doesn't. And if it doesn't, we'll just pull it out and replace the motor. This is usually common with hand washers. They don't run the dishwasher for months or years and the motor will seize up. So what I'm trying to do is just get it spinning and break it free. Yeah, I couldn't break it free with the flatheads. It usually works, but not this time. Sometimes it doesn't. As you can see, it's still locked up. Those little teeth aren't moving as they should so we'll pull it out pull the dishwasher out and replace the motor oh my gosh he's using a Ryobi oh my gosh I thought he was a professional uh, well I guess I gotta let him know in the comments section that he's using a Ryobi oh my gosh why don't you pull the Mounting screws out of the countertop. You can pull the whole dishwasher out. This is very rare. Usually I can get them to break free. Let's unplug it. Kill the power. Take the rack out because we're going to turn the dishwasher upside down. This can be kind of messy. That's why I bring a towel. I very carefully turn the dishwasher upside down. The power is off. I unplugged it, but I left the water on. So that's why I do it carefully. There we go. Let's go ahead and get it unplugged. Some dishwashers you can do this way and some you can't. How I choose to do it it's easier for me and if you need to take pictures to remember how things go back go ahead and do that I got phone full of pictures it's really simple to change out a motor I'd rather break it free I mean don't get me wrong but if I got to change one out so be it Remember how this goes on. Sometimes this can be a pain. Hooks around the front and goes like that. All right, got it. And the rest, you're just pretty much loosening screws, not really taking anything out. There's one here and there's one on the bottom here, right there. See what else? Got everything unplugged. I love how they made these the bigger nut driver than they did this one, the smaller one. I love that. Appreciate it, GE. Once you get them all loosened up, it should just slide on out. You get to see what's going on with it. 
loosen some things up a little more. Yeah, that bottom one needs an, another turn or two. There we go. There it is. Ah, nothing on the propeller. Don't know why she's locked up. We'll dig deeper in a minute. Drop the new one in. Goes back in the same way. Just do everything in reverse. All right, I got it plopped back in. We'll do the 5 sixteenths. That's nice and snug. It's just three spots. This one, this one, and this one. Your quarter inch nut driver. Just make sure everything is snug. You'll have a leak. This is the smaller one, the, the half inch or the quarter inch nut driver. in there good put our little brace on went around the front if I remember correctly yes nice and tight brace is on and we plug everything back in And that is it. Flip it back over, turn it on. After you plug it back in, of course. I get a lot of flack for, for the outlet being behind the dishwasher. Oh, I can't believe you put that there. I didn't build the place. I can't believe you put an outlet behind the dishwasher. <clears throat> all right, Skid, new motor is in. We're all plugged up. What I also like to do is I like to leave it out. That way I can see if there's a leak under there. A lot easier than with it back in the hole. I also like to get a lot of light, man. A lot of you guys don't do well because you can't flip and see. All right, as you can hear, it's filling up with water. No leaks, no drips. If something was loose, you'd know it. I've been on some drippers and some leakers and it is just like <sighs> gotta flip it upside down and start all over again if that happens don't panic lord knows I've had to start over a bunch of times so far so good no drips no water on the floor again you'd know if it had a leak it is a gusher we're gonna be good Oh, now it's draining. Still good. Caught it right at the perfect moment. We're going to be good. I'm going to push it back in and mount it up. Ah, one hand. Booyah. Oh my gosh, there's Roby again. He's using Roby. Oh boy. Oh my gosh. All right, got it mounted. Let's check it one more time. Looks good, looks good. Let me get a drain. And we're draining. No drips. We're gonna be good. All right, Skid, I'm gonna throw the cover back on and drive on to the next WO. Thank y'all for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Later.